All right, what's up, YouTube? Let's talk about the basics of an SHTF slash Minuteman, whatever buzzword you want to use, fighting rifle. If you don't have an LPVO, you don't have some type of IR laser device, a white light slash infrared light, and a bad lever, you're going to die. And you deserve to die for that. My choices are the best choices. Okay. That was a joke. Uh, now that you're typing in the comments section, tell me how much of a fucking uh, British cigarette butt I am. It was a joke. Complete joke. Relax, relax, relax. I know you're smarter than me, okay? okay? That's just a joke also. I'm the smartest person I know. I don't know very many people, but of the ones I do know, most of them are criminals. I'm the smartest one I know. Um, at the very basic, all you need is a way to carry this bad boy and a way to aim it. So get yourself a sling. This is a um, government gifted sling, okay? It's like the cheapest fucking thing you could get. I got a, who the fuck make this? In Midwest Industries QD mount. Uh, one of the QD mounts for the sling from Amazon. And it's just looped through the back on the stock. A way to carry it. Get yourself a sling. You don't need a great sling. I've had great slings. They're not that much fucking different. Um, a way to aim. Get yourself some Magpul Embus sights. Before you ever, ever get an optic, get yourself an LPVO or uh, EOTech, get iron sights. Get iron sights first, because you need them anyways. Get yourself a good set of iron sights. That's all you need. You need a way to carry it and a way to aim it. That's it. Uh, for all of you saying, oh, you need some type of magnification or some other way to aim. No, you don't. No, you don't. If you can't make hits with iron sights, I was going to say 300 yards, I'll even give you 200 yards. If you can't accurately make hits with iron sights at 200 yards, um, you need to practice the fundamentals of marksmanship because you just lack them. If you can't make hits with iron sights at 200 yards, you need to practice the fundamentals of marksmanship. Most of us, depending where you live, if you live like where I live, where there's dense Midwestern forest, the odds of an engagement past 200, not very likely. It's possible. It could happen, but it's not very likely. Here I am sitting with an LPVO talking about this, but whatever. I got uh, caught up by the fucking YouTube PewTubers. Okay, moving on past that. So you got yourself iron sights and a sling. Get a weapon light. That, That's not tight. I must not tighten it down when I... Uh, changed out the battery the other day. Whatever. It doesn't matter. This is Surefire Scout. It can do white light or IR light. Get yourself something that can at least do white light, preferably, especially if you have night vision or plan to move into night vision. You should. That's a topic for another day, but you should. Um, we're talking about fighting a modern enemy. You need to be a modern warrior. That means night vision. Um, get yourself a white light. Get yourself a light to put on your gun. Surefire is great. Um, don't get one of those stupid owl lights or O lights, whatever the fuck they're called. Get yourself a surefire. Get yourself a surefire. Um, yeah, not too much to say there. If you want a push button, cool. If you got big chunkers like me, it's not that big of a deal to reach over here and just hit the button, okay? Same thing for me with the peck, which we'll get in here to in a second. Uh, you got bigger hands. This is going to be pretty easy to see grip. Okay, so you got yourself a weapon light. Uh, what next? Well, if you've got everything else, um, get yourself a better way to aim. My personal go-to is an LPVO. Um, I like LPVOs. The only problem with these is, and when we're talking about night vision, is passively aiming. You can't really passively aim through an LPVO. Not, I mean, not effectively. You're going to be, I have a PVS-14. You're going to be fishing around through here. I can't get my head down fucking low enough with the helmet on to do it anyways. What you can do, and what I'm doing, top mount a red dot. Because then it acts as a riser too, and your red dot's here. Pull that up. Pull that up. Red dots up here. That's the way to do it with an LPVO. That's where red dots are significantly better. Red dots, EOTechs, I'm going to use them all uh, in the same term, red dots. That's where they do much better. It's passively aiming under night vision. Um, the only thing, only issue with those is, is um, it's just a red dot. There's no holdovers, nothing like that. This, These strike eagles, uh, I also have primary arms. Um, yeah, primary arms, uh, 1 to 8 and a 1 to 10 on my AR-10s. And uh, they all have basically range estimation inside them. 
that's great. That's another big benefit of LPVOs. You don't really have that with a red dot. Now, there are some prism scopes out there that have them, yes, but some of these, the night vision settings, are terrible. They're junk. Um, do they work? Sure. But you need just a way to aim. Okay? So after you get your iron sights, your sling, and your weapon light, a better way to aim. Whatever that is works for you, whatever. Some people say uh, they can't use red dots, yada, yada, yada. Just a lack of training. That's all that is. All right. After that, um, what I have up here, you might not have if you don't have night vision, a way to aim your night vision. We talked about how to aim passively. Now, the best way to aim and the easiest way to aim, no matter what anybody tells you, is with an IR laser. This is a D-Ball A2, a.k.a. the PEC-15 Alpha. These are great. They are made out of, I don't know, feels like aluminum or metal. Either way, you could knock out a fucking hog with it. They're great. They're durable. It's high power. It has low power settings. It has an illuminator and an IR pointer, which you want. It kind of negates the purpose of this, but this is also a white light. That's why it's on here. But uh, I don't need to use this as the IR illuminator when I have a device that can do both. Um, the Viz laser and the IR layer are slaved, so that means when I sight in the IR laser, or the Viz laser, the IR laser is also zeroed, which gives me the ability to zero this during the day and not have to wait till it's night out to zero my infrared laser. So yeah, a way to aim your night vision, definitely have a laser. Passive aiming is all the buzz nowadays, but uh, have a fucking laser. It's better than nothing. Um, Somo gear, that's all the talk on YouTube nowadays, is uh, these Somo gear $230 PEC 15s that are seemingly holding up and holding zero as good as a real PEC 15. So you can go buy an IR laser that's going to hold up to recoil, I've seen up to 308, hold zero, and it's cheaper than going to buy the mount and an RMR to put on this. In fact, I could probably get two of the Somo gear PEC 15s. Am I still going to do this? Sure, because I want to have multiple ways of aiming. But it's not necessary at all. Uh, what else do I have? Bad lever. Okay. Do you need a bad lever? No, not at all. They're cheap. That's like 25 bucks. Um, it saves milliseconds on reloads. In the grand scheme of things, if milliseconds matter, the chances of you dying anyways are incredibly high. So maybe don't be an idiot like me and waste money on that when you could go get two more boxes of ammo or put that towards something else, like, I don't know, food or water. But yeah, that is my SHTF um, rifle. I guess I still went over the actual rifle. This is a Palmetto State Armory lower. Uh, I believe it's a Palmetto State Armory upper too. It's, uh, it's a little old, a little beat up, as you can see, scratched up. Probably got about... Mm, I don't know, nearing 2,000 rounds through it, probably. Um, but yeah, good rifle, never had any major malfunctions. Um, never even really had any malfunctions. One time I had one stuck casing with steel ammunition. It only happened once, and it was coincidentally the first mag I shot. Since then, no issues. But yeah, not a bad rifle. This is my setup. Again, I'll go over it. Uh, Palmetto State Armory. Uh, upper and lower, I believe. The upper might be from primary arms. I don't know. It's been a couple years. Uh, Magpul, Embus sights, iron sights, cheap sling, uh, Midwest Industries QD mount for the sling, bad lever, not necessary, don't get it. Um, BCM vertical foregrip gives you a great way, especially if you got big chunkers like me, I'm 6'3", uh, to C grip and be able to push this button up here. I don't run pads. I don't have a need to. I can reach it just fine. Same thing over here. I got to kind of go underneath it to reach my weapon light, but I don't need I don't need a pad down here. It's just more shit on my rifle. Okay. Next thing I have. Surefire Scout. Uh, D Ball A2, aka Peck 15 Alpha, and a Strike Eagle 1 to 6 LPVO. Also have 1 to 8s and a 1 to 10. Uh, 1 to 6 is great for 556. Five, um, this thing is more accurate than I could ever be. One to six, you should easily be able to punch out there to 600 yards with. No problem. All right, guys. That is my take on a SHTF um, Minuteman whatever fighting rifle. This is my take on my fighting rifle. I've had this set up for a while now. Uh, it works great. 
Holds zero great. Um, never had any issues with the rail coming loose once I Loctited it. But uh, yeah, it should have came Loctited, I'll say that. But it didn't. So yeah, that is my take on an SHTF rifle. Tell me why I'm wrong, and I'll tell you why I've never been wrong in my entire life, guys. I'm the smartest person I know. Granted, I don't know anybody, but yeah. All right, till next time, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.